So I've noticed there's definitely an overlap between fans of Clone Troopers and Star Wars and fans of Halo. I mean, it's understandable because Halo is also like a science fiction thing with space soldier men with various colors, and Star Wars definitely has plenty of that. Uh, but me personally, I'm not a huge Halo fan. I've said it in multiple videos. And you may be wondering, why are you making another Halo video? Well, let's just say I walked into a Dollar General just seeing what they had. Like, what, what, what do they have? And I saw a Halo Mega Construct set, and I just thought, huh, those guys look cool. But it's $10. Should I really spend $10 on this? And I'm like, you know what, you guys... You guys like Halo enough, and I need an excuse to make another Halo video for you. So yes, here we are. I have Spartan Thorn here because he's also blue, so he will be their commander. I know some of you people who know Halo may be like, uh, Spartan Thorn didn't actually lead this squad of like, Spartans, you bleh. I don't care. They're all blue. Uh, but yeah, blue's my favorite color, so naturally I saw uh, a battle pack. A Spartan Capture the Flag Base Crashers uh, Attake des Soldats Spartan CTF. Uh, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to buy it. It's only 10 bucks. Comes with four figures, which is really cool. Three colored blue ones and one cloaked. One cloaked, uh, boy. Uh, but yeah, let's let's open it up and uh, let's, see, let's see what we're talking about. I, I wonder how many of you are surprised. Like, you actually knew what CTF meant? I only know because the original Star Wars Battlefront had to capture the flag, okay? Like, I'm not... I'm not a noob, okay? So yeah, I didn't bring a knife, so I'm gonna have to open it up cringe style. Oh, the cringe. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna keep the box, so what's the worry? So that is the instructions that I doubt I'll need. Let's look at the back, though, before we completely ditch this thing. Uh, so we have a Spartan, Mar uh, Spartan Mark VI Gen 1. So just having, having marks isn't enough. You need to have marks and then generations within the marks. I, I, okay, okay, Halo, I get you. The Spartan Rogue, uh, which I actually already did have the uh, Spartan Rogue and Recon helmets uh, from that pack that I got. You know, that pack that I got, uh, the, the, the one, you, you, you know, I, I did another Mega Constructs Halo video. Just look at that. Uh, Spartan Recon, which uh, the design is definitely growing on me now that I'm looking at it in blue instead of like a pearly green. And then a clear Spartan Recon. It's the same thing, but clear. I wish it was different, um, but you know what, it's okay. The weapons we have, we have a flamethrower, but it's the clear one, so that's kind of unfortunate. An assault rifle, a shotgun, and a Spartan laser. Uh, and the little bit of Halo I've played, I think that laser is actually really fun, if I remember correctly. I did some local multiplayer just messing around with like my brother and my friends. Uh, but yeah, let's... let's uh, seriously, all we were doing was messing around. Like, just going around the map doing absolutely nothing. Uh, so I don't think I, like, have any actual experience with Halo. I think I started playing one of the campaigns with my brother. I think it might have been the campaign to three. I don't know. But yeah, I started that. But, yeah, I'm more of a toy guy. So I see a pack of four blue space soldier men for only $10. And I'm like, hey, number one, my fans would love if I talked about this. And number two, hey, I would love if I owned this. There's that huge set of all those multicolored Spartans. There was a Toys R Us for years and years. I want that. Uh, the multicolored space soldier man uh, enthusiast in me absolutely needs that set. So let's take a look at all this stuff. So what we have... Yeah, they're Thorn. You're not a part of this experience. So we have um, the flag. I don't need to look at the instructions. I can just see... Oh, that's how the flag is built. That's pretty cool. So you take... You take the rod right there, you put it in the golden skull with wings, which probably means something. And then you take the flag. Well, that's actually a really nice flag. Look at that. UNSC. You know what UNSC stands for? Under no supervision constable. There we go. I'm not that creative. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, there's the flag that they are going to capture. Maybe they're going to capture it from the red team. <laughs> red versus blue reference. I watched the first season of that as well uh, to also talk about my Halo experience. Pretty funny stuff. Uh, it definitely reminded me of A Clone Apart, if you remember that. Uh, a Clone Apart was probably inspired by Red versus Blue, though, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, uh, A Clone Apart was really cool. And Red vs. Blue was cool, too, but it has like a trillion billion seasons and apparently has like an actual story instead of like just being funny. And I can't get into that. I'm sorry. Uh, so, 
I have enough shows I want to watch. Uh, I'm not, I, I can't. I'm sorry, it's too big and intimidating. I'm worried this guy's going to break as I try to get the flamethrower in his hand. But yeah, this is the clear Spartan uh, rogue, or recon. Dang, dang it. I'm already messing it up. Actually, J4, that's the Spartan. That's the Spartan recon, not the rogue. I love when people actually say, actually, that's Waxer, not Boyle. And they're wrong. They're wrong and they're correcting me, thinking that I'm wrong. No, they're wrong. Like someone said, oh, you have the legs backward on a Transformers review. I didn't have the legs backward. What are you talking about? Anyways, this is the cloaked Spartan Recon. And he is all clear, uh, which is actually different from the other cloaked guy I have, which I think was the Helio Scrawl, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm probably mistaken. <laughs> Helio Skrill. Hel Maybe I'm saying Skrull because it's Marvel. I don't know. But yeah, he's got a big old flamethrower, which is cool. Uh, you definitely can't see a lot of the detail because he's clear. But look at him. He's pretty cool. I mean, all these guys have the same kind of articulation. He's definitely going to need a base. One trillion percent. Give him a base. And then, oop. Okay, the next up we have... Oh, this is the Spartan Mark VI Gen 1. This is actually my first really generic Spartan in the... Uh, Mega Constructs. Like, I have Thorn, and I have uh, Master Chief, and I have all the other variants that I got in that other video. But this is my first, um, oh, was his hand? Or for a second, like, is this hand on a ball joint? No, it's just on a peg. It's kind of odd. It was moving like a ball joint. Maybe it is on a ball joint. I don't think so. I think it's just on a weirdy peg. Ooh, there we go. Whatever. Oh, his back came off. But yeah, this is a Spartan Mark VI. Um, from whatever game the Mark VI came from. Uh, this is actually a set from 2017. That's what the back says. So this is a pretty old set. It's not like I'm reviewing something new here. I mean, it's it's a freaking Dollar General, so, I mean, it's not very popular. Let's give him the standard assault rifle, because he is a generic boy. You can see the articulation. Oh, that hand is that hand is going to get lost. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't want to pop in all the way. This hand is going to get lost. And I'm not looking forward to that day. I mean, you saw the articulation. I don't know how much he was even in frame. I was worried about the hand. But yeah, you saw all the articulation. This is a really cool line, man. If I was really into Halo, I would collect the Mega Construct stuff. Or Mega Blocks, as it formerly was. Because it just has so many uh, characters to choose from. Like, I've seen those Jane Bricks videos of all of his uh, mini action figure collection. I don't remember what they actually refer to these things as. Micro action figure. I think that's what Mega Constructs calls them. But there's just so many to choose from. You could really build a massive army with these things. And yeah, I kind of really love them. But I'm not going to collect them. I'm just going to buy the ones I think that are cool. Like I said in my other video, if I see, you know, Mega Constructs Halo stuff and it piques my interest, I'm going to get it. So I did buy it. The next up, this is the Recon. That was, uh, oh, this, yeah, this is the recon view. That's where I called the freaking wrong name again. Yeah, this is the recon from, uh, it's blue. He's blue. Uh, I do really like the black on the mask this time around, because it, it's matched with blue. I just kind of prefer it on this, even though it does look a little weird to me still. I still do like it. It's a, it's a unique variant. Let's give him the laser, because he looks kind of heftier. He looks like a heftier armored boy, like he would have the laser. Ooh, come on. I'm a fire in Malaysia. Look at that. I just referenced an old meme from like 2010. I'm so I'm so proud of myself. But yeah, I mean, look at this. The articulation's insane for these little guys. Like you can get them in a lot of freaking poses. Like one of my pose tests is to see if they can kind of cross their legs and put their arms behind their head, and they can do it. They can do it, man. Look how tiny these guys are. They're really poseable. I do notice how they have a little bit of the speckling in the armor, too, which uh, Mega likes doing that a lot. They like speckling the plastic with, like, other colors of plastic. Not the biggest fan of that, but you know what? It's okay. So, yeah, let's... Here's good old laser, laser head. Laser face! Oh, that's taser face. My bad. Let's give him the, the flag. He's captured this flag today. Look at that. Oh, well, that's way epic. Alrighty, then last up, we have the Rogue, which the helmet looks cooler on the box. Like, there's the helmet on the box, right? I think the helmet looks cooler on the box than it does on the toy. I don't know why. I think, I think, oh yeah, you know what? It's because the visor isn't very obvious on the toy that it's, like, a single visor. It looks more like eyes, doesn't it? 
Like, it looks like there's a division between the goggles, even though on the actual helmet, it's a visor. Hmm. Hmm, not a big fan of that. I wish you would have made the toy more accurate to the source material. Let's give him the shotty, because he's rogue. Did you see that spit? I just spit. I'm so sorry. Yeah, let's give him the shotty, because he's a Spartan rogue. Hey, let me know the lore of the Spartan rogues. Did they go rogue? Did they go Assassin's Creed rogue? And the, the, did they join their own... Did they make their own Spartan division? Was it called the the Rogue One? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm the way I am. But yeah, let's give him a base. And these guys are really cool. Like, look at that. Look, we've got the rogue. We've got the ray. we got a cloaked... And let's bring in their their unofficial commander, Spartan Thorn, because he is also blue, even though he's not the exact same color of blue, but he's also blue. Look at that, man. <laughs> I love seeing Thorn in front of him. I'm sorry. That just makes him look like a complete squad. He's kind of off on his own, because he's not blue. He He's not with the blue gang. But I love the blue gang. Uh, blue is my favorite color, so I want little space soldier men that are the color blue. Okay? Leave me alone. Gosh! Let me live my life. If I chose to spend $10 on these, even though I've never really played Halo, that's my choice. Anyways, you guys watched this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I would say, oh, I'll make that $10 back in the ad revenue from this video. But ever since the whole, uh, the whole pandemic going on, advertisers ain't paying much. I haven't been making nearly as much as I used to make. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, guys, there we go. There's uh, my review, or not really a review, more like just talking about it. Uh, the Mega Constructs Halo Spartan CTF Base Crashers set. 87 pieces, which is a lot of pieces, but a lot of them are in the figures, because the figures have a lot of individual pieces. Because there's a lot of customization, too. You could take the armor pieces, swap them between characters and all that, which is really cool. I mean, I'm sure you can make a lot of cool custom figures with this. Like, I could probably give that clear guy, like, some colored parts. And maybe the, like, clear armor to a colored, you know, it'll, it'll look cool. It'll look cool. But yeah, there we go. Uh, there's my video on these guys. Uh, I don't know when the next Halo video will ever be. Because I don't really do Halo. But I saw these. Uh, I've had them sitting uh, unboxed for about two weeks now. And I figured, hey, now's the time. I'm going to film a review. Alrighty, guys, there we go. Make sure to come, like, and subscribe. Check out my, so my social media links. There we go. My lips stopped working. P.O. Box addressing if you're going to ask questions down in the description below. Have a good day, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.